Throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh, there has always been an established meta. And that meta goes on to influence what people typically play at the larger events. But what if you took a list of every deck from the September 2011 meta, randomized them, and put them into their own single elimination bracket tournament, allowing for exactly one of every different type of deck to be represented? In this series, Joe and I will be playing out a full single elimination bracket tournament. Each week, Joe and I will be playing a different deck, and whatever deck wins will move on, and whatever deck loses will be eliminated. The goal of this series is to see if the traditional meta will reign supreme, or if a new champion will be crowned. Be prepared for jank winning, meta losing, and for the format as we know it to be turned upside down. Welcome to the Tournament of Tournaments. Alright, today we're going to play Wind-Ups, and I'm talking Wind-Ups before Wind-Up Rabbit, before Wind-Up Zen Mighty, before all of the good Wind-Ups. We're talking about a Wind-Up deck that's basically a level 5 toolbox, which is essentially a rank 5 toolbox. It tries to open up Wind-Up Factory, that's step 1, and then utilize cards like Wind-Up Soldier and Wind-Up Dog to create level 5s with Quick Dressing, Crown, and Cyber Dragon to potentially combine with the ability to actually put two level 5s on the field at the same time. The inherent issue with this deck is it's basically investing two cards all the time if you don't actually have Wind-Up Factory, and even when you do have Wind-Up Factory, it can be a little bit tough. This deck has a weird issue going first where all of the wind-ups can only be activated once while they're on the field, and actually just going into Tyrus turn one's not all that great, so there's not a lot of good opening plays because you don't necessarily always just want to pass on a wind-up, let's say wind-up soldier plus wind-up factory. You can, but then when you search the wind-up soldier on the next turn, the one on the field goes down to a level four, so now you have a level four, and now you have another level four that you just drew, and the level fours aren't that great with this deck, so it's kind of weird, a lot of conflictions, but it's an interesting deck. Obviously, this is way before wind-ups became a top-tier national winning strategy but we'll see what happens all right today we are busting out one of my favorite decks in the tengu plant format being psychics i think this deck is absurdly good and very much so underexplored for its time i honestly put this deck at like tier one on my tier list i think this thing can completely compete with any of the top decks of the format including you know like agents plants whatever i think this deck actually even has like pretty decent matchups into those decks and that's mostly because of the fact that all of these cards in here are floaters it kind of does what tg does like as a whole but just over Overall better because of the fact that you're adding the psychic engine here and these psychic cards are just very versatile and very powerful so the biggest one to focus on is going to be serene psychic witch this card says when it's destroyed in any way you get to banish a psychic monster from your deck and then special summon it on your next standby phase so typically you're going to banish something like esper girl which says when this remove from play card is special summon remove from play the top card of your deck face down and then when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can add that remove from play card to your hand so this is kind of like a draw one when you synchro with it the nice thing about it is and the reason why we run tg warwolf is since the special summons during your standby phase if your opponent kills a witch during their turn and you banish the esper girl then on your turn you can special summon esper girl in standby phase and use warwolf's effect to special summon itself too which will basically give you a free level five synchro um and you know including a draw one without using your normal summon. You can take it a bit further by summoning a level four and even going into a basically a free Trishula if you're normaling Tengu. Um, but the other nice thing about it is you can go into cards like TG Wonder Magician, which can pop a back row and it's still a level five tuner. So you can use it to synchro further if they have like a bottomless or something and they destroy it. If this card is destroyed in any way, you get to draw a card again. So. You basically just make a bunch of stuff that can replace itself, which is really good. Or you can even go as far as going into Magical Android for free, which is going to make your Miracle Synchro Fusion live. This is basically a Miracle Fusion for Synchro monsters. Like, you basically need to have a Psychic Synchro in your grave, which is why we're maxed out on all those different copies, as well as any Psychic-type monster in your graveyard. So you banish those two, and you get to summon Ultimate Axon Kicker. This card is absolutely absurd. 2,900 attack, can't be destroyed by card effects. Um, if it destroys attacks a defense position monster you inflict piercing and uh, if it destroys a monster you gain life points equal to the destroyed monster's attack so this card is really crazy we run two and one because of the fact that 
This card has a secondary effect to it, which is if this card, if this set card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to their graveyard, you can draw one card. So you kind of use this as like heavy storm bait or even MST bait to kind of punish your opponent's plays. Um, and you only really need to resolve this once to make it work. That's why we're only running two and we're running one ultimate axon kicker. And then some other cards to talk about in this deck are going to be Silent Psychic Wizard. This card says when it's normal summoned, target a psychic type monster in your graveyard, banish that. And then this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon that monster, banished by this effect. So if you already have your Esper Girl in rotation, you can banish Esper Girl when this card is summoned. And then when this leaves the field, you get to special summon Esper Girl back again, which then will banish a card face down and, you know, give you another draw one when this card is synchroed with. So... Kind of makes some spicy plays. The three other psychics we're running in here is going to be Psychic Jumper, Psychic Commander, and Destructoton. I think most people are familiar with Commander, but Destructoton basically says it's non once per turn, pay a thousand life points, target a set spell, trap your opponent controls, and destroy it. And then we have Psychic Jumper, which is a creature swap that you get to choose the targets on so it can't target itself you have to have another psychic on field to do it but you basically give your opponent a psychic and take any monster you want so this is really nice because you basically just give them a witch and then take any monster you want you can even go as far as synchroing with it because it's a level two tuner and it's an earth tuner which opens up the possibilities of going into things like naturia beast Overall, this deck is just super versatile. You can really like grind out on your opponent and just out resource them over time because it really does have nice little neat ways of plussing with all of these floater cards. Super fun deck to play, very underexplored. And this is kind of my take on it, my personal build. I, like I said, I think this deck is very strong and I'm so excited to showcase it for you guys today. <laughs> tournament of tournaments episode 24 i think we're on here so that's kind of hype um uh, busting out some unique builds neither of these guys saw any histor historical play especially windups up until you know windups actually got good cards but joe personally uh, you know he, he mentioned he didn't necessarily believe in this windup deck i personally believe in the windup deck you know but uh i'm excited to kind of showcase both of these because i think they're both really really cool your deck is cool. My deck is bad. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, so you're taking paper, right? So I go rock? Yeah. Yeah. All right. is fine no ash blossom i guess i'll just get unknown synchron sure now you might like summon this and make a level five to go into drill warrior is that the is that the joke um you can special you, you can these? um you special summon him basically and normal summon a wind up and then it makes a level six synchro so like but it can make you Orient or Brian Act. Okay, but not all right. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> I guess go. Oh no, I mill a card. I'm gonna mill the best card. Mill a volcanic shell right here. All right, here we go. Volcanic shell. Mm. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Pass. All right, we'll go standby main. I'm just gonna normal summon a witch and poke in. Uh. 1400 yeah. all right main two i'm just gonna pass huh okay your deck has mailer for hand traps true special special summon is fine that's in defense that's fine all right wind up dog effect <laughs> yeah that's fine trigger my factory yeah so you can even uh, declare broken. prio <laughs> you could declare prio i mean i guess no matter what if you activate the effect if you attempt to activate you get the search which is cool Valor doesn't stop this so broken <laughs> i'll add the soldier okay and just I'll think black <laughs> black whirlwinds at one right now you know 
Hmm, I wonder if I should put this in defense mode. Probably not. That seems silly. But I'll bounce the Psychic Witch. Sure. And then attack. I'll take the 2300. And then go. I'll draw. We'll go standby main face. I'm gonna normal summon witch. Sure. <laughs> Activate emergency teleport. Yeah. I will special summon psychic jumper. Switch control, yeah. Yeah, I'll pay the thousand. And, oh, actually, off the special summon of my jumper, I am also going to drop a Warwolf here. Sure. This way I can go sink here for eight. Make Scrap Dragon. Yeah. Pop the Warwolf. Then I'll yeah, attack over. Uh, trigger Witch's Effect. Which will allow me to banish Esper Girl. Yep. I'll set one card. And we'll go end phase. I'll search with Warwolf. No, you synchroed with it. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I'll pass. And during your standby phase, I'll get this Esper Girl to the field. So we'll special this, and I'll banish the top card of my deck face down. I don't think I'm allowed to look at it. Because this is no before idea. Desires. <laughs> All I know is things are not looking good. Sure. Special Sidra. Normal right. Soldier. Yeah. Tears is a good card. Yeah, not really. I mean. Okay, I'll lose Esper Girl. I'll add this to my hand. And then this dies. Alright. Draw for turn. <laughs> Damn. This is a spicy <laughs> one for sure. I will. Special summon striker. Yep. Off the striker. I'll special summon warwolf. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Yep. I was just waiting for creature swap. Um, um No, I have to synchro here, so there's definitely no creature swap. I'm just debating yeah, on good. what I wanna go into <laughs> here. What's the best play? Might actually. You definitely just want to attack it with disaster, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. That could it's work. Brilliant play. <laughs> uh, I think. Mm. It's actually kind of tough because that back row could be relevant. I don't actually know. I didn't look at your list. I don't remember. What's your um, list? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, I won't play with the information. We'll, uh... I think I'm just gonna normal summon a Tengu. Sure. Let's go for a sync nine. Yep. Attempt the Trishula. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. All right. I mean, I did kind of open the nuts there. I'm not gonna lie. Having a Itali is like the best card in my deck, and it's a one of. Is it a one? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. yeah. When you get in modern, you get three. Without Itali, I actually had no plays at all. <laughs>
Okay. Game two. Okay, let's try this again. Sure. Do you have a volcanic shell this time? No, I'm gonna melt. That's the plan. Uh, oh, okay. I believe. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't want that one anyway. Why are all windups just once per ever? <laughs> so, not as good as the good ones that came out soon after. <laughs> well, actually, all windups are once per once while they're face up on the field. Like even, yes, but not really. Yeah, with rabbit, kind of not, um, and with other cards that came out later. Going it, like, uh, yeah, exceeding. You're with not them. wrong though. You're not wrong. They all are once per face up, but they don't feel that way when you use them. How do I actually go into Drill Where I have to have like quick draw plus volcanic shell, right? Yeah. Hmm. You can also technically make junk destroyer with quick draw plus dog. And I think nice. there's something else in there. Oh, that's kind of shit. Well. The best deck the best thing my deck can do in turn one is just pass. Yeah, I actually kind of think it's almost better going second because yeah, of the fact I... that you really just want to respond with Tyrus to stuff because Tyrus is, like, OP. Yeah, but I'd rather just not give you the extra card. Yeah, so take the... F I mean, technically the best thing you can do turn one is set up Drill Warrior. That's the best thing. Uh, yeah, if you draw a few specifically Volcanic Shell, though. Yeah. Or Millet, off-tuning. This is true. Huh. Summon. That's fine. <laughs> sure. Priority. Also fine. Wind up factory. Yeah. Man, the, what I would do for, for a wind-up shark right now. Just a little <laughs> bit more explosiveness. <laughs> That's what a uh, quick draw is. It's your wind-up shark. <laughs> is it, though? It's just worse. <laughs> so much worse. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, here we go. All right, good. Yeah. Definitely warning this. Yeah. Well, I just invested all of my cards into that Tiaris. <laughs> Why is the unknown secret on board? <laughs> I mean, this deck is so bad I had to do what I had to do. Like, I could attack this and then I, I, if I could have killed that, I could have reborn that. I guess I can't even synchro the level four. Right? There's probably not level four in here. Hmm. Uh, I see. All right. Go ahead. Do you want to put the unknown back in hand? No, it, it was. I, was there I a guess, line of play? I guess I overlooked the fact that there wasn't a level four synchro because I was going to reborn this main phase two and then synchro with it. Mm. So you didn't get the trigger, right? Because it's not in your grip. I guess. Oh, reborn the witch. If it stays in the graveyard, that's a weird question. If it leaves the graveyard, but it goes back to the graveyard. I don't actually uh, think it. Uh, don't, no, I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think it would trigger in that scenario. Yeah, because no, it's not the no. same witch. Yeah, I was going to attack and then reborn that to synchro. That was what I was going to do. But I had to summon this because, right? If I have a monster, I can't summon this. If only or. Yeah, it's it's cyber dragon. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I guess. Right. Yeah, that's all I can do. Sure, let's. Um. Well, in that case, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna poke in. I accept. Set another card and I'll pass. Oh, best card ever. <laughs> okay, so we got the reboard. All right, priority. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. All right, there's a chance. There's a chance. Priority. Uh, it kind of sucks, but I think I have the torrential here. Just oh, so, man. otherwise I lose everything. Okay. I'll get a Tango effect and a Witch effect. I'm gonna resolve Avarice while this happens. Sure. All right, uh, I guess go ahead. Uh, stand by, I'll special summon witch. Yes. Um, you must have a game somehow. Um, my hand isn't actually that wonderful. All right, just trying... all effect failures maybe? <laughs> no, maybe it's trying... a miracle synchro fusion card. Yeah, I love that card, but it's unfortunately, cool card. can't decide if this is actually worth it or not. I mean, it probably is. Let's see. All I can say is don't give me another turn. I got... My hand is loaded. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try to Trish. Trish. Ah, lovely. <laughs> does it resolve? Sure does. <laughs> All right, we'll get rid of that. We'll banish the unknown and uh, a card out of your hand. Yeah. That one, the one closest to deck. Okay. Hold and I got a Tango. Yeah. We battle, we attack with both, and then I, I pass. All right. You can do this, Joe. I believe in you. Oh, wait. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm at 500, and I'm just going to attack for 18 with my vanilla monster. And pass to you. Oh, no. Not How like this. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, lovely. So I, can't, I couldn't even use this, and this card is really bad against you, but... Mm. Not much to side in. Yeah. Dang. Hitting the hitting the quick draw was pretty good for me then. Yeah, off of Avarice, I actually drew shell quick draw. I was like, wow, this could be good next turn, but I already used my normal summon. Mm. So it didn't yeah, seem that right was... to just wall up with Synchron. Well, I mean, actually, if I didn't draw exactly Dark Hole, like, any other card, I think, actually puts me in a bit more of a predicament. Like, I had Striker, I had Maxi, and Double Maxi. So, like, Dark Hole, I mean, technically, this other draw was Warwolf, which also would have at least cleared the board, but it wouldn't have won. Or, actually, no, it would have won still. I could have synchroed for Mandroid, but... Yeah, Trish was crazy. I actually cited in three Veilers, just because of... I figured... Of Trish... Yeah, your deck can just go into it so easily. So, yeah, Need some resistance. Another deck that has this terrible card in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this one slightly benefits from it because, at the very least, like if you want to play it slower, like I mean, the nutso hand is obviously banking on like, hey, if you can open double factory and just go start searching two every turn, you yeah. actually go off pretty hard. It's it's not too bad. Um, the like, I mean, the main idea of it is like, hey, can I make multiple rank fives in a turn or make like a synchro in a rank five in a turn? And usually that can be enough to push through a board. Um, it's kind of difficult to out. The one thing where this thing has its difficulty in the matchup is 
the fact that I run things like Creature Swap and Psychic Jumper, because those are really nice inherent outs to Tiris, but most decks actually don't really have very good outs to Tiris, which is why it like actually fun functions like okay. Um, but yeah, that's why I was down to play that deck. <laughs> I would have taken the L. <laughs> I also main deck Neo Space and Granville, which is kind of like <laughs> yeah, yeah, absurdly good too. Good. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff this deck specifically can do. I even main deck D Prison. Um, so like yeah, there's just it's just weird that this deck just has a lot of the tools. But that's kind of what makes Psychic so good and flexible is the deck is just so floaty and you can just go into like any random thing at any random time and it all feels like decent right like other nice thing about it is with like warwolf and like even just having like a witch on field that's just been floating the whole time is like you can do things where you like synchro for five into the um wonder magician pop a back row and then synchro again stuff like that like there's weird little tricky things this deck is just capable of um, I'm sad we didn't get to see the Miracle Synchro Fusion resolve because that's, I, I think this card is so broken. Mm. <laughs> this card is absurd, <laughs> ultimate axon sure. kicker. Um, but yeah, damn, another, another swift 2-0 for tournament of tournaments. I'm on a win streak, Joe. I know. Yeah. I know. You gotta start when bouncing go back, back here. What's next week? <laughs> is it a real deck yet? Well, I can't leak it, but I can leak All it right, after yeah. I'm done recording. Yeah. Alright, all right, I'll, I'll record <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's episode of Tournament of Tournaments. Uh, I'm on a bit of a win streak right now, you know, so Joe's going to have to step it up. Um, we're also getting really close to the end of round one, which I'm really excited for because, you know, round two is going to be all the decks that managed to get their first win, which means it's going to be a bit more competitive and maybe those matches will be more close or even a bit more one-sided. Who knows? Uh, but... Yeah, as a reminder, we release new episodes of the series every single Friday, so make sure you guys are subscribed, not only to me, but also to Joe. Um, that way you get to kind of, you know, stay on top of seeing when the new episodes get released and stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and make sure y'all have a great time doing today.